Hello my friends, my name is Forager, welcome back to our brand new video. So I decided to add spikes to Minecraft. So as you can see right behind me, we have six different spikes. And down below in the description, you can download this add-on all that you want to go ahead and add these to your Minecraft worlds, go ahead and show your friends, or do different things with them. And they think that they turned out really, really great. Now first off, I do want to thank Mystic Butter over on Discord for helping me figuring out the damage effects. But get to that end, the spikes, they wouldn't end up doing any damage whatsoever. So I do want to thank them very, very, very much for helping me out with that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and see what these spikes are. So right over there are going to be all the recipes. I'm going to go show you that first. So there's going to be a few different spikes that you can create. We have wooden spikes, which are crafted with three logs on the bottom, one log on the top, and then two bark blocks on the side. Then we have one plank right in the center. And if you go and put in a specific plank, like warped, crimson, or spruce, then it's going to go in and give you the appropriate one back. And the same thing applies for the logs as well, so go keep that in mind. But then over here, we have ourselves the netherite ones, which is quite expensive. So you need two netherite blocks, one plank in the middle, and then three ingots on the bottom, and one ingot on the top. So you better get to that mining. And then we have the iron one right here. We have the diamond one, the golden one, the stone one, and then that's basically it. But since I went ahead and made one for each of the wood types, there's going to be a total of 40 different spikes, which I think the all turned out really great. And so if I go a couple here, I'm going to go show you how these works. So all of them are going to give the same effect, which is going to be the wither effect. So if I switch over to game mode S really quickly, and I start walking over these, as you can see, the spikes are going to start to go up, and then they're going to start to hurt you. But I've noticed that if you go ahead and jump around a little bit, then you actually can avoid some of the damage. Now right here we have ourselves all the different designs for all the different spikes. So we have ourselves the wood, stone, iron, gold, diamond, and netherite. And then we have ourselves all the wooden ones as well. Now for all of them apart from the crimson and the warp, I decided to go ahead and use parts of trap doors to go ahead and make them a little bit better on the bottom of the designs. So as you can see we have ourselves the spruce, this is the acacia, the birch, the dark oak, now we showed you the oak one right here. And then of course we got ourselves jungle as well. And I think all of the different designs start really well. Especially the spikes. One of my favorite ones has probably got to be the diamond one. The wooden ones are also really cool as well. And by the way, these can be pushed by sticky pistons as well. So as you can see, I can go ahead and move it back and forth if I really wanted to. But also whenever you do craft up all these different spikes, by default they're going to be pointing upwards. And so you gotta be careful because whenever you go and walk over to one, so let's say I go and walk right next to it, then it's gonna go ahead and start giving me the wither effect. But you are absolutely fine when you are on the side of it, just like this. Now these can also be triggered by entities. So as you can see, the moment the pig walks on top of there, or falls in there in that case, then these can start to take damage. But this is not gonna work for zombies and other undead mobs. Because you know, they are not affected by the wither, so they actually cannot end up taking damage. I've also introduced some functions that you can use in creative mode. So as you can see, if I go ahead and type in slash function, we have ourselves a bunch of different functions that we can use. We have diamond spikes, gold spikes, iron, the netherite, the stone, and the wooden. So basically it's going to type out one of those, then I press enter, and as you can see, we have obtained that specific type of spike just by using a simple command. That is basically it for everything that I have introduced inside of this add-on. And if you do want to get this, as I mentioned, you can find a link down below in the description. And go let me know your thoughts as well on what you think of this add-on. If you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.